Good evening and welcome back to our last Saturday night movie night here with me, Kristen from Chris Says Beauty. I am a hairstylist in Richmond, Virginia, but I also dive into the spooky and scary sort of things and do these little chit chat movie reviews and get ready with me's. And I typically do them all fall long, headed all the way up to Halloween. Happy Halloween, everyone. All Hallows' Eve. This week's movie of the week is none other than Trick or Treat, a true Halloween classic through and through. This year, I decided to do Trick or Treat since I have not talked about that yet on my channel. Next year, I'll probably go in. It'll be the year of the sequels in 2022. All of the classic slasher sequels that I did last year in 2020. So before we hop on in with the scary get ready with me movie talk, if you are new here, go ahead and do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe and bell icon to be notified when I upload new videos. If anyone have any sort of Thanksgiving or other fall themed scary slasher films that they are a fan of because I would love to check it out and review that as well. Alrighty, and let's go ahead and roll in with the movie. Coming out in 2011, the year I graduated, <laughs> You have Trick or Treat, a tale of sort of three little tales all kind of combined into one big, giant, awesome Halloween-y movie. This movie, I would argue, is one of the only actually strictly Halloween movies. This is why it's so awesome. You could arguably say this and then Season of the Witch, you know, Halloween 3 are the most like iconic Halloween movies there are. As much as I love my Michael Myers and Halloween, it focuses on him <laughs> where, you know, Season of the Witch and Trick or Treat are more focused on, you know, Sam Hain, like the Witch's New Year, like actual true Halloween. In the three short tales in this movie, you have a group of girls, one of them being Anna Paquin, <laughs> I guess, yeah, right before True Blood, and they are getting into some mischief on mischief night uh, as teenagers or I guess young adults somewhere in between there all dressed up as iconic Disney characters actually even though she is Little Red Riding Hood very Halloween iconic as well and you know you uh see them literally transform into something else by the end of it which is super awesome then you have the uh, elementary, middle school children, and the school bus situation tale, which I think Spirit of Halloween the past few years has had their mask that they wear for, you know, you could get those. <laughs> and then you have, of course, Sam, our little iconic orange little friend, going around, keeping all of the rules of Halloween, and going after anyone who does not obey any of the unspoken, you know, Halloween rules we all set for ourselves as legend. So a few little fun facts about the making of Trick or Treat. So it originally, and Sam in particular, is based off of a short animation film, I think called Season's Greetings by, I want to say the director and like writer of this movie. It's just this little film. You can pull it up on YouTube. It's super cute, super you know, spooky Halloweeny. Brian Cox character, I think that's the old man that Sam goes after at the end with his little lollipop uh, for not handing out candy. I'm pretty sure they are saying that he is actually kind of made in homage to uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, trying to make him look identical to a character from that movie. He even has the line of, you gotta be effing kidding me, from John Carpenter's The Thing in the same tone and all. Another one that I have not seen yet, but I have a theory personally that this is also another homage sort of thing. You have Anna Paquin's character's name is Lori, just like, you know, Halloween, Lori. <laughs> so I, again, have not found any evidence to back that up, but I strongly believe that has got to be 
some sort of, you know. And lastly, the film was actually not, they didn't really get the name for a trick-or-treat until playing with a few. They were originally looking at Season's Greetings, which that is kind of funny to me, but that's also, you know, a Christmas thing. (laughs) Also, Halloween Terrors or the jack-o'-lantern tales but you know trick-or-treat i feel like rolls off the tongue easier i love trick-or-treat i think it's super super cute definitely a cult and fan classic for anyone who's into the spooky halloweeny pumpkiny orange sort of traditional halloween it is good but again still pays homage to the things that we do love like you know good old john carpenter one of the kings of halloween so let me know if you are a big fan of trick or treat what is your all around favorite halloween themed spooky film it's really hard to narrow that if you can see that but this is our little slogan here thank you as always for continuing to help sort of support my channel as i go through all these different little things here of what we're interested in at the time i do apologize for the inconvenient nah inconsistency this year but there's just been a lot going on and hopefully I will get on a better regimen at some point. But if you have kept up with all of these different videos, just know that I appreciate you greatly more than I will ever be able to truly express. And hopefully we will keep on pumping out content into not only the rest of 2021, but hopefully next year in 2022. And like I said at the beginning, if you have any ideas for slashers, especially going into the fall and winter months, that would also be greatly appreciated. I need to think of something else to do during those. I feel like, are we getting sick of doing like a get ready with me with that going on? Or do we like seeing that? Alrighty, everyone, that will about wrap up this Saturday night, movie night, spooky season. I will see you all on my next video. And as always, stay spooky. Saturday night, movie night 2021 is out for now.